For the first time, Major General Matayo Charlie Gonza has publicly addressed the incident on 24th February when a police officer was manhandled by his bodyguards. The policewoman, Esther Namaganda, told Charlie Gonza's driver that he was breaking the traffic rules by making a wrong turn in the middle of the road. My reason of calling you is not really to overemphasize my point and impress you. No, it is only to help you people next time to become calculative. If you are given a story, you first of all wait and see whether it is worth putting it in the paper for people to read. Otherwise, if you continue like that, you are either going to divide this country, have those pro and those anti. And really even at that place, that's what had started. That's why I was asking my driver, where this I got to talk up? Because people were already beginning to, to gather. Those who are saying, ah, oh, Babi Babi seven Babu. And then these ones were pushing. And then the woman, and then there were this this man here, the journalist, he was busy, you know, coming with a camera wanting to just at the close range. Major General Charlie Gonza says he intends to sue individuals who continuously defame him. And mark you, all this is political. What do you do? Charlie Gonza, I am number four, if you want to know. Kolo Sale, Amene Museveni, Buringi Tumwine, Buringi Sale, Charigonza comes. Four. But if you talked about Charigonza as a very sane, insane person, then Museveni has got the wrong people. He says Parliament has no moral authority to discuss or recall him from his duty as Uganda's ambassador to Burundi. You cannot condemn a person whom you have not had. And you, the so called the so-called uh, member of parliament, you were busy jumping over tables, breaking microphones. You have never been even recorded. Are you even fair in your own mind to start judging Kiarigonza, whom you have not heard? In March, President Yoweri Museveni said the army does not tolerate indiscipline. However, Charigonza says the president did not refer to him in person. Recently here we had uh, one, one, one retired general slapping a policewoman. Oh, 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 the whole population was, was on, on that film. If you are angry and you are aggressive, you can ask for permission and we deploy you in Somalia. Where are you? Where are services of, of aggressiveness are needed? I don't think he already was meaning me. He was made, otherwise, if you are talking of anybody who is vicious must be taken to Somalia, then there is anarchy there. I don't think he meant that. But I believe what he meant was uh, if you are vicious and you think you can have your slapping machine and you are so hot tempered, you go to Somalia and you finish it out there. But then to me, I would say no. People whom you send to Somalia must actually be very sane, who must, uh, you know, gauge and, you know, judge. Otherwise, uh, these al Qaeda's can be finished. He says the arrest of his guards will intimidate others deployed in a similar capacity. It is an unfair arrest. Because if, if the person is guarding me, and he does, is in the course of his duty, he does whatever he did, and then you arrest him, you are subjecting the next victim to being unguarded. Last month, Brigadier Charlie Gonza responded to police summons to make a statement on the matter. Walter Mwesije, NTV.